hi guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here so today is the long awaited 24 in 2024 rolling project pan so let's just get into it so the first thing i have been using just a few times this month it should be out by next month so it's the boots glow dewy serum i would not repurchase this again because I don't gravitate towards it and I don't feel like it makes much of a difference. I feel like I have dewy enough skin without having to have something like this in the collection. So I'm just going to leave that kind of next to me so I can see it. So that's that. And then we've got the setting sprays. Well, facial mists and setting sprays. So I've been using this. It's only just been opened this month. It's a Sunkist Skin Hydrating Face Mist enriched with hyaluronic acid and vitamin a prior to that i was using the face facts facial mist so yeah i've used a lot I've, I've used like that much we definitely need to be marking things don't we so let's mark as we tend to go on so i can show you the progress that we made from this month to next month so that's that i'll put that back up there as well so we do have 24 items in total i'm rolling them in as i'm using them up kind of thing then i've got this one so this is this isn't the revolution fixing glow it's just a bottle it's a revolution pore minimizing setting spray and you really don't need a lot so i've not used that much of it but we are getting down to it so it's about here so i'll show you it's literally here now I would like to use this up by next month. I am also using a pore minimising. So yeah, there's that. And then there's the Technique Glow Setter Spray. I can't remember. I think I may have had this in two months. Or maybe a month and a half. So I think this probably the majority of it will be gone by next month. So again, we'll put that up there. So yeah, there's a lot of sprays, but I use them all. So that's that. Oh, there's actually my glow stick. So there's actually 25 items in, not 24. So I'll show you the glow stick. So we've got the New Look Glow Stick. Um, it's in the shade Gold. It's very, very pretty. Let's do a little swatch. So I used that before I actually put foundation on, but I've not used it today. There is literally... I really should mark this on a piece of paper. There's not much, but I feel like it will take months and months and months to get through. So normally I just put it on the cheeks here. I mean, can we put some on over foundation, do we think? And then just rub it in. Yeah. But it does actually embellish pores, which I never realised that. But anyway, we're going to be using it up because I've used the Essence Glow Glow Go Up. So I want to use this up and then work on the rest of my illuminating products. I've also got this P. Louise Hold You Down, which I'm not really using now because I'm using a different brow product. And I'll show you that in a second. That has come in as project pan, but I will use it from time to time. It does really hold your brows down like it says. It's just basically a clear brow gel. So that's that. Also using the Sunkist Skin Hyaluronic Acid Nourishing Under Eye Serum. It's very, very good. And there's not much left of this either. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it down here. And I'll shot and we'll mark it at the end. I've also got this cream blush in here. It's the LA Colors Tainted Love Blush. If you watch my lives, you'll know that. I was trying to get some out of it. Ooh. Well, that's not good, is it? I was trying to get some out of it. And literally, the packaging the packaging was crap. And it flew up. So I knew that I needed a pot like this. Half of it's in there and half of it's in there. It's just a really nice pink colour. So that's Project Pan as well. And it will be until I've finished it. So every time I use a pink blush. I like to do the Patrick Tar method. Every time I use a pink blush. I'll be using that over the top of it. Right, let's leave that there. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so we can mark this now. So it's literally here. I've used a lot of it. Let me mark it and I'll be able, you'll be, you should be able to see it more. So that's where it is. 
so there's not much to use would i repurchase it i mean i think it's good but i don't need to repurchase it at the moment i've got a different under eye it's more like a balm but it does the same thing and that's by essence so i'll use that and then i'll think about do i want to repurchase that or do i just want to purchase an eye cream i think it'll be an eye cream next then we've got the smashbox for to wop eyeshadow trio i used to use this a lot before i tinted my brows and then before i used the brow pencil i'm currently using so i have used a lot of it um obviously this one is gone this one i would say about is half done with i will use it again obviously at the moment i'm not using it and then this is completely gone here so that's that brow pencil okay so i've recently got this elf brow pencil and it's the waterproof instant lift brow pencil it's really really good it's what i'm wearing now loves it i would definitely repurchase that then we've got the technique glitter primer i'm not a fan of this but i'm using it up because i've used my other glitter glue up and i wouldn't repurchase this i'd definitely repurchase the w7 sparkle stay though highlighter so we've got the mac soft and gentle i've not wore it too much this month so i need to start wearing this again and i think it would go really really nice with that gold stick highlighter as well so that's that then we've got the garnier vitamin c daily uv invisible spf it's spf 50 it's the only one i've got in my collection it's literally probably here well mark it as being down there like and mark it as that down there i'm sure that's where it is once i've finished this i do want to get another one of these but the glowy version this is the invisible version then we've got my concealer so this is the only concealer that's in and that will remain in my project pan until it's done i've not even got the stopper out of it so we've i feel like we've got a few months to go with this yet it's in the shade fur it's okay i wouldn't say it's my favorite concealer so the other primer i'm using is just an eye base so it's a juvia's place eye prep eye prime eye primer very very nice so yeah i've only just opened it so it'll be a while before we see any window in there so it's practically full so i can't really mark where it is then i've got this nyx hd studio pot but it is the revolution peach powder I'll sh i can show it to you can't really mark it I've not really been using it, if I'm being honest, guys. It's about half. I would say it's about half. Can we? No, we can't really mark it on here. So, yeah, I'd say there's about half in there. Can we do liners? Because there's quite a few lip liners, eyeliners. Right, so we've got this deck of Scarlet eyeliner. This is in the shade Belle. It's very, very pretty. That's a lip liner. Just a neutral, everyday, wearable lip liner. Then we've got the Rimmel Exaggerate in the shade Addiction. That's more or less the same colour. Very, very pretty. I'm sure we don't need both, but both in the project pan. Then I've got a red one. We all know how I like to wear reds. I think this one's drying up, though, to be honest. So I do need to wear it more. And I think this one is just in the shade Red. It's a Primark one. Then we've got two eyeliners. This one is my holy grail. It's nearly all gone. So it's a Wayne Goss Essential Eye Core Pencil in Precious Opal. Would I buy it? No, I wouldn't pay that price for it. You can get a drugstore brown eyeliner, which is just as good. Then I've got this very old Ted Baker Eye Core Pencil in black, which I just normally use to tight line, which is quite good. I don't even think you can buy it by itself. I got it in a set. And then I've got a couple more products, actually three more products. So I've got the Juvia's Place Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Gel. I don't wear it because, like, I used to wear it when I wore that a lot. Obviously, it'll be full of gunk. Like, it's full of brown gunk and it's meant to be a clear brow gel. So when I go back to using this, then I'll start using it again. And then the foundation I'm trying to use up, because it's one of the oldest ones, is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. Full coverage, lightweight. So yeah, I would definitely say that it is lightweight. I don't really see it as being a full coverage foundation. This foundation, though, is a dupe for 
this foundation, they smell exactly the same. They work exactly the same. They look exactly the same on the skin. So I don't know if they're made in the same factory or what, but they smell the same and they look the same on the skin. This one is in the shade 095 Porcelain. And I think there's just one more product. So I can't mark anything here as well. I don't know how far down I am. There's no window in as of yet. So I feel like I've got a lot to go. So that should be in for a few months, I think. Let's just put all these back in the basket. And I've just got one more product to show you. And can you guess what it is? I always leave this till last. Don't ask me. I don't have any rhyme or reason for doing it, but I always leave it till last. So we've got the Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume. And I will not be using any other perfume. If I go out, I will. Like I used the Dior Jador when I went and met my friend. But I won't use any other perfume if I'm just like around the house or going to my mum's or going to my sister's even i want to use this one up so last month we was no it must be this mark here last month we was here so since using it last month i've used doesn't look a lot but i've used that much so let's put another mark on there needs to settle so you should be able to see it. So this was last month. This is this month. So we're doing pretty well. So the marks, are, is it kind of saying I've had this in for five months? Because I can't see it, to be honest. One, two, three. There's five marks here now. Maybe I have, I don't know. But it's, it doesn't seem like I've had it in for five months. Anyway... I've just put some on, so I'm not going to put any more on. It is a really, really nice perfume, but then you get in that after scent. I don't know why or what's happened to it, or maybe that is just part of the perfume. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Please like, it really helps my channel out. And like I said, I massively appreciate it. Share and comment. If you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.